Hello once again, Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year for 2024. Well, here I am at the end of 2023, and what I thought I would do is show you what's coming up next year for unboxing videos. Now, this won't be the entire year, of course, because that's 365 and a third days or something like that, and I don't have that many models sitting here. However, what I do have might take us up into March, so that's always good. So what I thought I would do this year is go around the world. Not really focus on the American cars so much, but try to get some from other countries as well. And I thought that might be pretty exciting. Now, like I say, I can only go up to about March, but there might be some really cool stuff coming after that. And I know we've got some new releases coming up as well. So without further ado, I want to show you a brief glimpse into what's coming up. So uh, let's go to our first country right now. So the first country we can take a look at is, of course, the United States of America. And I have this great 1937 Chevy. This is, of course, the coupe. This is the Salt Shaker Bonneville race version. However, you can build this stock custom or racing so i think i want to build mine stock because it seems like nobody else is anyway next we have from the usa the great legendary 1953 hudson hornet this is another mobius kit and of course you might have seen my other two hudson kits so this is a nice addition to that set i think i've got a little goal to try to get all of the mobius hudsons in the future i'm just not sure when so maybe this year We'll find out. Next up, we have Japan with some really cool cars. First off, we've got this Honda S600 from 1963. This is sort of in that Speed Racer era. Actually, this would be kind of cool uh, sitting next to Speed Racer's car, the Mach 5. No one knows that Speed Racer's brother is actually the amazing racer. Beep! Can't say it because no one knows it. No, anyway. Um... Anyway, so we have this one, which would be really cool to check out from Tamiya of Japan. And from Aoshima, I also have this Nissan Silvia. This one is really cool, actually. There's a lot of neat color pieces in here that you'll find quite unique. I don't know why I'm getting such a shadow here. I've got all my lights pointing everywhere, and yet it's like I'm in the dark with no light at all. I also have another model kit. It's not from Japan. It is from Korea, but I don't have a flag for Korea. But what I have here is the Hyundai Pony. This one is cool because you also get a little figure with it. So if you like building Japanese cars or like figures, this one could be a good one for you. We will check it out in 2024. Now let's go up to our next country. Next up, we go to Germany. And we get to take a look at the amazing 1938 Opel Admiral. Now this car is really cool. It's got the open cover, so you can take the roof off, I do believe. But boy, look at this nice 1930s German styling. Of course, really awesome. Now it is unfortunate these cars were produced in 1938 to 39, but then when World War II started, a certain party ended up with everybody's cars and they were used for the generals of that party uh, but anyway it's still got some great history now unfortunately i can't show the original flag from 1939 because i'd get in some big trouble but at any rate we will visit germany and check out this great car not the real germany our pretend germany here but at any rate it will be great to see this one Next up, I thought I would go over to jolly old England, actually the United Kingdom, and visit our good friend Pete. That would be really great. Hi, Pete. Greetings from Canada. Anyway, no, but seriously, I will uh, take a look at some uh, United Kingdom models, British models, I guess. Hopefully, uh, I don't know, but for Christmas I want to get that Jaguar that Ravel just released, so... If I get that as a gift, I will show it here. But what I do have actually is something unique. This is from MHAR. Now, a company that most of you may not know, MHAR does a lot of World War I models and uh, 135th scale military figures, but they also have this interesting line of trucks. These are English Bedford trucks. And uh, this is the OLB. Uh, 
LWB O series 5 ton tanker. I think this one would be really cool to build, if not even just open up and look at. I've never actually done an MHAR car kit, so or truck kit, so this one will be really, really cool. Anyway, let's go over to our final country and see what we've got over there. Oh, but before we go to our final country, you might be wondering, did I hang this flag upside down or right side up? Well, there's one way to tell and know 100% for sure if you've got your Union Jack up the right way or upside down. And the way you do that is you go over to the corner here and you read the little tag. And if the tag is upside down, then your flag is upside down. This one says it's 100% polyester and made in China. And for our final country, we go across the channel into France. Vive la France! All right, so our first car, we have the Heller Citroen B14 Normandy. This one is really cool. I like the wicker back here. I can't wait to take a look at this one. I think this would be quite awesome. C'est magnifique! <laughs> All right, after we take a look at that, we've got another Citroen. This is the C4 Splendid Hotel version. Ooh, I've really gone in dark here. Let's see. There we go. No, I don't know. But at any rate, this one is cool because it's got the Royal Splendid Hotel decal on the side door. And again, this nice little back area where people can sit and everything and go see the Eiffel Tower on a little Perry trip. Okay. Sorry, I don't mean to go off camera like that, but these are big model boxes and I don't know where to put them. So next up, we have the Bugatti. This one is really cool. This is the T50, always a classic one. This has the slope back windshield, which was quite aerodynamic for the time and does give for a nice, unique roof line. And I also like this striping on here. I do believe uh, Corvette kind of modeled this on their 57s and 56 Corvettes with that nice design you know, sort of carry on a tradition of something cool up the side of the car. And finally, this one is really awesome. I've been wanting this one for a long time, but my father wouldn't allow it. It is the weapon of the Jedi. No, I'm just kidding. Oops, oh, I hit something behind the flag. All right, what I have here, this is an Autobus Parisienne TN6C2. This thing is really cool. I want to get some buses. Now, the reason why I've got these is because I want to build a model kit scene that's set in the 30s, maybe in France or something. Well, probably definitely in France since I got so many models here. But this thing is really cool. Look at how big this is. Look at the, the hood over here. This has got unique steering in it because the steering column comes down and hooks into this lever right here, which pushes backwards into the wheels because the hood comes out so far for that engine. So again, it's really interesting how uh, some of these, you know, countries come up with different design ideas in order to make vehicles work. So this one is real cool. And one of the ones that I want to get, it's uh, going back to England, of course, but I want to get the big London bus model kit. There's two versions of that, both from Ravel. The first one is about 150 US dollars, so that's expensive for us in Canada, because our dollar is only 74 cents to the US. And the other version is 235, and the 235 dollar version has photo etch in it. And unfortunately, the 150 dollar version is not available right now for my wholesalers. Uh, but guess which one is the 235 dollar one. So I want to get that London bus, but I can't afford it. So in the meantime, I do have Le Autobus Grande. So next up, I have some figures and accessories as well as decals. So our first figure that I'm going to show is this is a Joni Lookout Johnson and her dog Max. This is another one of the great master box kits of figures. And these are designed for that trucker series, so she is able to sit into one of the trucks. And next up, we have a really cool one. This is a two-part four-figure series. It's actually five figures, but they discontinued one, or my wholesaler just doesn't have it. And it's actually a victim in the crossfire. 
but this is shots fired. Officers need assistance. Civilian casualties reported. Request backup ASAP. This is Sergeant Jack Melgoza and Patrolman Sally Taylor. So again, these are really cool master box kits that will be a lot of fun to review and build. Now on the other side of the street, we have Billy. It's getting too hot. Grab the money and let's get out of here. This is the Johnson brothers, Bobby and Billy in the heist, stealing money and getting shot up by the police. So again, some really cool figure kits. Now going into the whole Natey in the future and all that stuff. If you're following my Natey garage series, I also have this one. This is a tough customer for Natey. This is the back off kit. This is from At the Edge of the Universe, Strange Company's Adventure, Episode 1, The First Meeting. So all these figures are actually supposed to be in a futuristic space bar. There's like a uh, five-armed alien and all this stuff. So this, according to the back of the box, is Bungie Bagala, or just Bagala, and Boomer the Robot. Hmm, Boomer. I wonder if it's a baby Boomer. <laughs> anyway, that would be the smaller version. But yeah, so this is another one of the uh, type of customers that a lady will meet at her garage. Again, really cool. I, you know, that whole Nady Garage series uh, of models and things that I'm building. Well, it's not called the Nady Garage. That's what I'm calling it. But again, those will be really cool once we get it all going. And I also got this kit. This is the accessory parts kit. And this one is really cool. This is, of course, for cars and garage dioramas. But uh, here, let me just put these figures down. Check this out. This is a vending machine. And it is really neat. This is a, a kit. It's already open, so I saw what's inside. It's a, basically a single parts tree, but there's so many cool goodies in here. This is a Fujimi kit. So again, this will be neat to see in my native garage diorama. I also have something, because I got kind of tired of, you know, buying all these model kits, the Coca-Cola editions, and everyone has a Coke machine and Coke bottles and all that. And there's no other kind of machine, like a Sprite one or a Pepsi or anything else. So I got these from Gopher Racing. They are... I don't think I'll do an unboxing on these. Because, <laughs> like, hey, here's my video. I got decals. Look at these ones. That's cool. Okay, video's over. No, but at any rate... So look at that. You got Dad's Cola. You've got Crush 7-Up. You also have Nehi, which is uh, one of those American pops I'm not too sure of. Nehi Grape Soda. Now, some of these are a bit huge. They're kind of like shop signs. But I think these ones could fit into that face of the vending machines that AMT has. So that'll be neat. And then for myself here, I got these also from Gopher Racing. These are monster faces. And you'll see there's a Frankenstein up here. Looks like a... Well, kind of like Glenn Strange, really. But again, lots of cool monstery things. Go for racing. I I'm, think I might carry some of these in my model store, my hobby shop, Monster Hobbies Online. And then I have one other thing. Now, these are from my own collection from before. And they need to be done eventually. But these are all these small scale models that I have, like 148 scale, 132nd. I'm just using this one as a reference. I've had this for years. This is the AMT 56, I believe, Ford pickup truck. Yeah, I think 56 had these. I've got to do a little history on the 53, 4, 5, and 6 versions of these pickups before they change to 57 with the whole different front end and all that. But this one is cool because you get the little truck, you get the figure, you get the policeman and the motorcycle. And he's also a uh, construction company, a contractor. So you get the little, um, uh, he's a cement contractor guy. So you get the little hopper thing for the cement and all the rest. So this is a cool one we should do. I also have the Ford Fairlane Sunliner. I've got a whole bunch of Lindbergh 72 scale kits. And I have some from Ari from Japan. A little... And it's funny, the Japanese cars were quite small, so in 30-second scale, they're like that long. And that's 30-second scale. Whereas, like, the American ones are like this or whatever, you know? 30-second scale. But the Japanese ones are so tiny. But they're cool, and I think that you should see them once I unbox them. So these are sort of the things we're going to be looking at in 2024 from this channel. And I want it to be unique, because I know HPI guy... He does unboxings and he builds his and, you know, everybody loves that. And 
The thing with his channel, though, is he's got models from basically North America, let's say. I don't think he gets much from, like, Heller or... Well, definitely Emhar. I haven't seen anything that he's built from Emhar, but then I'm not totally following his channel either. You know, I've got work to do, right? I got my own channel. But at any rate, like, so I'm going to try to, to uh, show those kits because they're unique. You know, we don't see them over here on our side of the border, especially up in Canada that much. Although, you know, Tamiya kits you can get all the time. But, you know, really, what's inside those? And that's what I want to get at. What's inside an Ari kit? What's inside Aoshima, uh, Fujimi, Heller? Mhar, Airfix. I don't do much Airfix either. So these are kind of kits that I want to try to bring in this year and show everybody just to be a little more unique in the whole Monster Hobby's Garage unboxing universe. So again, thank you for watching this video. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas again. Happy Halloween, in case I missed that one. Oh, and happy Valentine's Day coming up. Hopefully you've got a uh, Someone you love that you could shower with affection. I don't know. <laughs> oh, maybe I should do France in February. Eh? Because France is the country for love. Oh, mwah. <laughs> I don't know. And maybe some good cuisine. And uh, do Germany in October because there's Oktoberfest. Or is that too long in between videos? Now nah, let's just open everything and check it out. So anyway, consider becoming a member of this channel because if you become a member, you're actually financially supporting the channel, which means that I can get some more models. I don't have to depend on YouTube and views to uh, help me out in this. So it, to become a member, another cool thing about becoming a member is that you get to see these videos the moment I upload them. So it could be like a Thursday night at 2 a.m. and I upload a video. Uh, now, normally that's scheduled for the Friday coming up, but you as a member have the golden opportunity to watch that video at 2.01 in the morning, or whenever it pops up, right? Uh, now, you don't have to stay up till 2.01 in the morning on some random night trying to find my video. If you're a member, you'll get notifications. Just remember to turn those notifications on so that this whole wonderful process of you being a member works. So to become a member, click the Join button, which should be down below. It's a little round button that says Join. It's right beside the Subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed, check that out, but don't forget to click the join button to become a member. So you click the join button, you become a member, and it's like a minimal fee, $2, something like that. And you get your name in the credits like these people right here. Check them all out. These are all my members and Patreons. I also have a Patreon account, which you can check out as well. But these are the people that are actively supporting my channel, and I hope that you will become one too. But of course, you got to like my channel, maybe be a subscriber before. I mean, it's up to you. You really got to dig this channel to be a member. So because there's that little extra, you know, but at any rate, become a member. You get your name up here and you get to see videos when I release them. Now, if you're a normal subscriber, you can always check our videos out on Friday or whenever I release them as subscriber videos. But as a member, remember, you get to see them first. And that means that if I upload 10 videos in a night or a couple of nights, you get to see all 10 before anybody else does because everybody else is waiting for that video on Friday. So let's just say I uploaded four videos, for example. So that means you would see all four when they come up if you're a member. But if you're a subscriber, you see the first one on, uh, let's say, the 7th, the second one on the 14th of the month, the third one on the 21st, and the final one on the 28th. So you see there's four weeks, whereas if you're a member, you can see them all in four hours. So that's the difference, as well as getting your names in there. So again, thank you for watching this video. And until next time, everybody, happy model building. And if you want to see another video, check this one out up here. And check out our website, www.monster.com dash hobbies.ca, whatever, by clicking this button over here. Have a good one. We'll see you in 2024.